This is chapter 3 too, and sorry it's been a while guys since I've got a part uploaded for this, but um, hopefully we can get it all finished now. This is 3 too, yeah. And to begin with, you've got a sort of new enemy type, uh, but come in this doorway first and loot these two barrels. If you want TMP ammo and you don't get it from there, because some barrels right next to the entrance, you can just keep pressing checkpoint reload and keep smashing them crates until you get what you want. You can do that sometimes if it's close to a checkpoint. Sometimes the crates are fixed what they have inside and sometimes it's random. And you can do that sometimes to try and get what you're looking for. Get that crate afterwards. Now these new enemy types, they're invisible. I forget the name now, but just sprint straight past them. Sometimes you will get a prompt, like a square prompt to kick them. If you get that, sometimes it's good just to press square quickly, just in case. Now here, just wait a moment. So there are some below, which are going to wait for them to catch up to us a little bit. And then we're going to quickly jump down, get that velvet uh, crystal and the TMP ammo from the drain. Climb up this ladder, through this doorway. And we need to be quick all the way here, guys. There's quite a lot of them invisible enemies. You may get hit. Yes, you may get hit because we do pass underneath some of them. But just do the best you can. Sprint through into this door. Get the treasure from that chest and loot these two crates. One can come, one or two can come in here, by the way. So you need to be quick and just be ready when you leave this room. Yeah, got butterfly lamp treasure. Turn the valve and that should drain the water. <laughs> yeah, out here you can see one of them puffing about. And one just dropped down there. He may catch you sometimes. Most times I can come through this and I'm okay. But it's, it does happen. Sometimes they do catch me sometimes. There are There is quite a bit of loot in this area. But it, it's, say, it's better just to ignore the loot and just bring past the enemies. Once you get down here to where the water was drained. Sprint up the steps into this room. They'll still be following you guys so be quick. And once you get here. There's a sort of a checkpoint here. What I do, I'm going to die five times now to bring my sort of dynamic difficulty down a little bit. There's a lot of enemies coming up and it will just make it a bit easier because we have to kill some of them. They'll have, low, they'll have lower health and they'll do less damage to us if they do manage to hit us. So yeah, just run into the trap. <laughs> yeah, quite literally, just sprint into it and let it kill you. It's a nice quick kill. Uh, so when it's got about five deaths, yeah, when it's got about five, you can. What we do then is I turn around and just get a little bit of loot in that previous area. I don't go too far in because some enemies will still be loitering around. They're just sort of being reset to their default location. So I come in here, get them two crates, and then I come down the steps, do a 180, and get the velvet blue crystal just from the uh, back of the steps, and then back up steps and get on our jolly way. This time, do not die to the traps. Yeah, you're not very good on this, are you guys? You just died five times to these traps. You thought you'd learn your lesson the first time. Yeah, up here on the right is another velvet blue. Come through this door. Up the ladder. And this next room we're coming to, this is very tricky to do. Let's get these two crates first and then go through the door. Yeah, I try to break this down. Okay, so when you spawn in here, guys, yeah, I froze the frame. Don't worry, the video's not crashed. Sprint over to the left side of the ladder, near enough where I am standing now, and sort of run over to show you all the way to the edge. Don't jump off. Just run to the edge of where the ladder is, to the left of it. And then what you want to do after that is equip a grenade, a hand grenade. So go into your inventory, equip one. Yep, and then turn right and like that. And you see where my finger is? It's just sort of on the, almost on the right edge of that archway. See that arch? You see the red enemy? He's standing in like an, he's seen through an archway. Just on that edge, where my finger's near enough, right on the edge, that's about where you want to be to get the right angle. Don't aim up or down, just move that way so your finger's lined up that edge, and then lob the grenade. There you go. That should kill all the enemies. But what I do, quickly jump down straight away, just in case it doesn't, because sometimes one, does get away so you jump down straight away see if anyone's left standing and then quickly finish them off and then get all the loot quickly do not leave all this loot the loot on the red enemy will stay there but all the loot on the weaker enemies that will disappear eventually so just make sure you get all that loot straight away obviously make sure you finish off any enemies remaining first sometimes that's one and then afterwards come back up the steps and jump across the chandeliers 
This will take us to some treasure and two pots. And there you go, smash them. Over here, yeah, that's a merchant. Over this shander there. This is room we were in early, at the start of this chapter uh, and at the end of the last chapter. This is just basically upstairs. This is a treasure, elegant mask. We'll be wearing that to the ball. Yeah, drop down here afterwards and head up the steps. Yeah, this is where we were before, if you remember. You got a typewriter here, so if you want, save your game. The shooting gallery was in the corner here. I'm not sure if it's still there now. You know when you, it said at the start of this chapter, but when you come back in, I mean, I, I guess it is. I don't really checked. Yeah, so come up here, the merchant's there if you need him, and then come this red door. So this bit's a bit tricky as well. So you get the red herb first, guys. Try to follow my steps the best you can. If not, just checkpoint reload. Grab a handgun ammo and come in here. Now straight away, guys, come over to this left corner, all the way over here, and camp in this corner here, opposite that red barrel. Here, there's two crossbows enemies above, but if you're here, they should have been able to get you. Now here, just wait for these two enemies on your level to reach you, and then use that barrel to kill them both. Just saves a bit of ammo for you. And then grab anything they drop, so it will disappear eventually. And then come through this window. Don't go too far into the middle because there's crossbow enemies up there. Get these two barrels. Random loot inside, likely. I know some. I know some fixed bots, and some I don't know. So yeah, this guy. Let him get on the steps. He might slide down a few steps. Yeah, it's norm normally when you shoot him on the um, shoot him in the leg on the steps, they fall down. And then once you knocked him down, finish him off with some knife slashing. Come through this door afterwards and come around this corner. Now this red enemy here, if you let him escape from you, and then you let him, if you let him, it basically he'll run away. And we're going to shoot that red barrel now, by the way. There, yeah, there'll be a red enemy in a minute. He, he runs up here where you are now. He runs into that side room where the steps are, and then if you chase after him and he runs out of that side room with the steps, he appears with a Gatling gun. You need to kill him before that happens if you want to avoid him getting the Gatling gun. And we do not want him to get a Gatling gun. So once you jump down here, obviously make sure you got rid of both them crossbow enemies. That red barrel, sometimes it'll kill them both, but sometimes it'll only kill one. So just make sure you kill the crossbow, the second one first if you didn't die from the top. Then drop down, the red dude will run off. You can finish off anybody else on their remaining. Not a crossbow enemy, you already killed them. Now he'll run up here. What I do, I jump down here. Yeah, jump down here. And now while you're down here, we're just gonna loot all the pots in this sort of in the main area when you first come in that red enemy he's now in that side room where the stairs are so when we go in the side room now he's going to run away from us and we need to make sure we do not let him get to any door which is going to lead him back into this area or in the look upper level in this area so when you come in here he's going to sprint away up the steps so what you're going to do is going to knock him down quickly that he might slide down a few steps and hit his chin on every step and start knifing him. What I do, there is a guy with a shield up there. He doesn't actually start coming for you until you get near the top of the steps. Yeah, what I do normally, I normally use, when that shield guy pissed, then I use a fire grenade. There you go, like that. So I might have used it earlier, but I didn't actually trigger him that early because I didn't go too far to the top. And that's it, eventually you'll kill the red guy. Yeah, do not let him get through that door. He'll drop the gallery key. Yeah, because it'll pop up in the middle of a Gatling gun. You did not want that to happen. Gatling gun bullets are very hard to dodge because they come so quick at you. I know Leon's pretty good at dodging things. You'll find out. Is it 5-3? Five, five, I think it is. 5-3, he goes mad with always dodging his acrobatics. Pretty mental. But yeah, use gallery key. Open this door. Shoot the... Spinal, no, sorry, velvet blue down from the deer. Pot there to smash, and two more over here. That's it, and then do the puzzle. This puzzle's pretty hard. Right, what you have to do, you have to do number one, and then you move right and do number two, and then move right, do the third one, and then do the fourth one. It's pretty, pretty complex to get your head around, but yeah, do them in the order one, two, three, four, if you can manage. Now, in here, Sprint up the right side of the steps in front, and this guy, if he gets in your way, just stun him, get him past. Quickly come here, press that red button, and then take a wide berth around here to avoid that enemy. By the time you get over here, two rocket launch enemies should appear. 
But you sprint over here, you barely get through this door, she's gonna hit you. Smash this pot, press the switch, and come back out. And then sprint over here and quickly drop down. If you do it quick enough, the rocket launchers should not hurt you. The them two guys above just fired. Afterwards, run around here on the right, up the steps, take a sharp right, come back on yourself, and then um, out here. These should only take one or two bullets, these enemies. After you've killed them, loot the um, goat ornament. I am goat. Yeah, loot that ornament from there. Now, you've got to wait. Not wait, but I normally drop down where I am now and run up the steps on the right. You'll see the door we have to go to in a minute. Yeah, but I just don't want to run past some scythe enemies because they, they quite... If you're too close to them, they normally always catch you. They're quite... And you don't quite have enough um, distance to get around them in this area. Not on the steps, anyway. So there we go. I've got a clean opening. So up here. And through this door, guys. Now go back in and all the enemies would have despawned and you can loot the area safely. So get that handgun ammo. Come through here on the left, you will find a spinal. Keep coming left and come through this door. You'll find a yellow herb here. Come down the steps and this will take you back down to the bottom area. Now just some pots just break now. So you've got a big pot there. Two more pots here. If you see any with flowers, then don't break them because the water will just go all over you and Leon will get his hair wet. You won't be very happy. And then once you've got them, up, up here guys and get that green herb. And that's it in this area. Right, last bit, a dog section in a maze. So save your game at the typewriter. I don't know why my times are so... I mean, it looks like it's taken me ages to do this. Probably has. When you restart checkpoints, I'm not sure if that resets the time or it, it carries over, I'm not sure. Get that handgun ammo from the pot I just got. Sprint through here and shoot down that spinal, is it? Yeah, shoot down the spinal and then come through here. Now over here, there's a fountain in the middle just around the corner. Don't go too close because then the birds will fly away. If, they, if you're too close, when you fire the gun, they'll fly away. But if you're a good distance away, you can shoot them all without them flying away. Once you shot all, I think it's three, loot the three birds, what they dropped, and the three treasures in that fountain. Come over here, smash these crates. That room just before, if you bothered to check, you can't go in there yet. There's a magnum in there, which you can get, but you actually come, you have to come back a little bit later when we've got Ashley. So yeah, do not buy the broken butterfly from the shop. We're gonna get one for free a little bit later. Yeah, the broken butterfly is a magnum, believe it or not. Right, so I'm just going to free up some space for a minute. I've got so many green herbs, haven't I? Now, try to follow my route exactly in here. Hopefully, it'll become clear as we go through the maze. Right, come through here, open this gate. Don't go too far forward here because it, it triggers the first dog. Just destroy these crates like that, loot them. Now, sprint through here. Just run around that dog like so. Take this left on down here turn right run to the end corner turn right and here's the yellow herb now turn around sprint past the dog take a left round here right and a tight right sharp right back on yourself and you've got a treasure here the red gem the reason the reason i'm doing this now yeah through here and uh, we're going to get this ornament while well, the moonstone yeah, I used to start on the other ornament, but I've practiced this a bit, and it's it's just easier to get them. If you go for them yellow herbs first, it's easier, because if you go for them second, you've got a million dogs chasing you. Just easy to do it this way. Yeah, so you come over this bit, go into the second one, take a t sharp left there, and get some TMP ammo in this chest. There'll be a lot of dogs now, but you can sort of avoid them here. I almost never get hit there. But if I try and do it the, the other way around, and then get this up, ornament yeah so we got the right half and then the left half I think in that order but I used to get the left before the right and it just made it more tricky to get that yellow yellow herb and the red gem so it's easy this way back up here jump off through the gate and we've pretty much finished the chapter guys that's it the maze is all done for yeah come to the store here fit the ornaments and go in and that ends end the chapter now what I will say when you make a save at the end of this chapter the, 
the dogs will not be chasing you as long as you when this chapter ends if you don't quit the game or basically if you do not leave that current game in progress the dogs won't be chasing you but the moment you checkpoint and reload and you spawn in this room or you reload that chapter end safe or you save the typewriter in here because there is a typewriter and you load that back up the dogs are automatically aggro to you I don't know what happens some sort of glitch but yeah the first time you complete this chapter and it automatically continues to the next one the dogs will not be aggro to you but as soon as you load a game and you spawn in this room the dogs will be aggro so I know it probably sounds daft and you think what the fuck is he talking about but yeah it's a fact of life but what you can do if that does happen because you do need to load a game so it is true when it comes to looting everything in this room what I do I normally grab one or two things and then exit the room come back in grab a few things exit the room come back in so that'll put the dogs back in their default location before they start aggroing to you but ideally guys before you close the game save your game now and then continue to the next chapter loot everything in the area do anything of the merchant that you need to do and then save that typewriter and then once you get to the next video you can just load that game and get straight into the next room without the dogs having to chase you um, but yeah I'll leave it there guys thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one